never forget. Hmm. I will never forget. Years ago, I went into Russ Odell's store with my father. And when we walked into Russ Odell's store, I smelled something that just smelled terrible. I remember saying, Daddy, what's that smell? And he'd go, shh, I'll tell you when we get in the car. I couldn't hardly stand it. Seemed like it took forever to get out of the store and into the car. And when we got into the car, he said, what you smelled was ramps, ramps. He said, you fry them and you eat them and they're good. And I thought, how can anything that smells so bad be so good? Sometime after that, we went to my grandmother's house. And when I got out of the car, guess what? I smelled the same smell. Went in to her house and the table was prepared. There was brown beans, cornbread, bacon, scrambled eggs, and ramps. And I couldn't hardly take the smell. And they said, oh, take one bite and you won't be able to smell them. Take one bite and you won't be able to smell them. And I took a bite. And guess what? I loved them. I could still smell them, but I loved them. I ate a lot of them. After we ate, I went outside and there was a bucket there. And it had roots and leaves in it. And my dad picked up that bucket and we walked over the hill. And he took that bucket and he took those roots and leaves and he just threw them down over the hill. And I said, what are you doing? He said, well, some of those will take root and grow. <laughs> years after that, years after that, me and Burl would spend a lot of time on that hillside digging ramps and eating ramps. Every time since that time, every time I would ride up that hill to my grandmother's house, I would remember ramps. And I would remember my dad throwing the ramps over the hill. And I love them and I've ate them ever since. You sort of crave them this time of the year. I will never forget that. Each time I drive down below, beside Bluefield College, I'll look up and see an administrative building. And I'll never forget that because me and my wife, 45 years ago, on the outside of the administrative building, we were married, 45 years ago. And I remember that. I remember my dad had a, a yellow tuxedo and I had a yellow tuxedo. And I remember during the ceremony, the preacher forgot my name. He forgot my name. I don't know what he said, but he said something. I guess it's legal. <laughs> but that, I, he forgot my name. I remember my brother was there, and he was taking pictures of the wedding. I remember my mom was there, and she had on a pink dress. I never seen my mom wear a pink dress. My sister was there. Burl was there, and my granny was there, and I'll never forget her. She was the happiest one of the whole group. And she took, she took rice, and she just pelted me to death with rice, and she just laughed and laughed and laughed. I'll never forget that experience. I'll never forget that. And each time I drive by Bluefield College, I remember that. You know, some things we will remember forever, forever. And some of them are very important. Some of them may not seem important, but they are. Years ago, this was 50 years ago probably, I, I was searching my heart. It was empty. And I drove by St. Luke's Methodist Church, two or three o'clock in the morning. And I parked the car and something told me, to go in. And you know what? <laughs> I walked up to the door and the church door was open. 
And I walked in and I walked down the sanctuary and I knelt at the altar and I asked Jesus to come into my heart. And you know what happened? You know what happened? Before I got up, he called me to preach that fast. Before I got up, I knew what I had to do. And you know, I will never, ever forget that. There's things that we'll never forget, ever. Last year, yeah, I want to tell this again. Get mad if you want to, but I'm going to tell it again. Last year, I stepped up, four of us stepped on number 8T. You'll never forget this because I keep telling it. We stepped up on number 8T, and my brother hit a golf shot, and it went into the hole. Huh. I'll never forget that. Probably never see it happen again, but I'll never forget that. There's things that we never, ever forget. Peter, James, and John were standing there, and Jesus said, let's take a walk. And they walked up on a mountain. And as they were standing at that mountain, Jesus was transfigured. What that means was they, that they saw Jesus in all of his glory. Elijah and Moses, Moses come and they're talking to Jesus about the things that are coming for Jesus, the suffering and the pain. And the disciples, those that were there, seemed to want to stay there forever. They say, let's build a tent and let's, let's stay here forever because it was like heaven it was a piece of heaven but they had to leave and they come back down the mountain and later that evening jesus says this and this this astonished them after seeing and hearing that this astonished them he said i'm gonna be handed over to men i'm gonna be crucified i'm gonna die but on the third day i will rise again and that happened. <laughs> that happened. And after that, I wonder, I wonder about the things the disciples would never, ever forget. Oh, they had a lifetime of, of memories within three years. But I wonder, as they was walking along the seashore, what they remembered. I'm sure they remembered Jesus' teaching and him feeding the hungry and him forgiving people and him healing people. That's something they'll never, ever forget. I wonder, as they was walking into Jerusalem, uh, when they passed the town of Bethany, wonder what they thought. Bethany is where Jesus uh, raised Lazarus from the dead. Bethany is where uh, Mary anoints Jesus. And Jesus says, this is for my burial. They probably never, ever forget that. I wonder when they stood outside of Jerusalem and looked up on the hill and they seen a cross. They never, ever forget what happened at the cross. And just below the cross, not far, was the tomb they put Jesus in. I wonder what they thought when they looked at that tomb. They would never, ever forget that. Don't forget this, that Jesus came not just for the people of old, but for us. Never, ever forget that. And Jesus said, I come not to condemn people, but I come to forgive people. He came to forgive you and me. And we are not a perfect people. We will not be a perfect people. We will continue to make mistakes. I've figured that out. I continue to make mistakes. But his grace is sufficient. His grace is sufficient. Never, ever forget that. Amen. Amen.